guys, today I'm here with my June favorites. I've got a ton of things to talk about, beauty, hair, and skincare, along with my YouTuber of the month, somebody that I recommend you check out, along with my subscribers of the month. That is something new I'm doing, so let's get started. The first item is a foundation that has been so highly requested to be reviewed on my channel and I will get to it. I'm actually gonna be doing another like 12 days of foundation kind of thing, but it's probably gonna be like seven days. I might name it like Oily Skin Diaries Week. If you have any recommendations for a cute name, let me know down below. But it is the Hourglass Stick Foundation and this is kind of amazing. I really, really love the finish on my skin. I love using it super lightly. It is really nice when it's built up. It has amazing wear time, it glides beautifully Beautifully on the skin and I just think it is such a beautiful product. The price tag is quite high, the amount that you get in the product isn't as high as it could be in comparison to a lot of stick products, but I will get into all of that in the review, but overall I do really love it. Estee Lauder Heat Wave is a highlighter that has haunted my highlight dreams since it came out and I didn't buy it. I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger, but either way it is just something that every time I see someone use it or compare it to another product, I'm like, <laughs> why? Why didn't I get that? Anyways, there is a second coming and they sent it my way. I was so excited to try it. It is part of their Bronze Goddess collection and it's called, it's still called Heat Wave, but I think it is slightly different than the original, but I don't care. I don't care. It is so pretty. I'm actually wearing a different highlight today. Everything I'm wearing will be listed down below. I'm getting ready to film a haul after this, so I'm wearing some of those items, but this is beautiful. It had a little bit of an overspray on it, nothing like that really changed the product. It's still a gorgeous gold highlight, really highly metallic, no shimmer in there. It is a gel -A formula, so similar to like a Makeup Forever Pro Fusion highlight. Um, and I really do like the formula. It's not too densely packed. You don't need to use a dense brush, um, but it is a really beautiful, beautiful gold highlight. On the theme of glow, Becca released their Sunlit Bronzers, and this is the shade Ipanema Sun. It is gorgeous. The collection has, I think, five shades in there, and it seems to be quite a wide range. There's some fair ones. This is like the deepest of the brown shades, and then there's also an even deeper, kind of more leaning red, which I know like Jackie Ina really likes that. So if you have a bit of a deeper skin tone, she was really surprised about how that worked on her skin. I really love this beautiful formula. I mean, Becca does powders amazingly, and it does have their Shimmering Skin Perfector formula in there. So it's not a completely matte bronzer, but by no means is it super uh, shimmery or glittery or anything like that. That. still looks really natural on the skin it blends out well quite pigmented so you really don't need to go in with a heavy hand I'm kind of used to my makeup forever bronzer which is really densely packed um, and that's not the case for this but it is gorgeous definitely a higher price tag Becca um, is not the cheapest of products but I really do feel like the quality is there moving much further down in price is a new launch from essence and holy guacamole this is good it is the lash princess sculpted volume mascara i'm wearing it on my lashes now this is the only mascara i'm wearing it is like can you see i'm gonna get you in look at my freaking lashes like they might look clumpy to some people but to me like i just think this looks so good i don't wear false lashes so i'm always looking for something that's really going to be dramatic on my eyes and I already have pretty decent lashes, but it's just does such a good job. A lot of the time I find myself layering and kind of concocting a mascara, um, make sure to get the look that I want, but this is so amazing. This is the first of the lash princesses that I've tried, but I love all of Essence's mascaras. This is under $5 highly highly recommend from ColourPop, it is the bff3 lip liner and this is totally my bff like this is like what i'm reaching for when i'm trying to make just about any lip color work like today i realized in my previous like three videos i was wearing this with a different lipstick every time when i was like going to do my description box of what i was wearing and it's just perfect there are two other shades so depending on your skin tone um you may want to go for a lighter one but this is just like the best friend to any lip color a best friend to me and it just is such a good job kind of outlining my lips adding a little bit of depth and warmth and I think that it is so beautiful and as you already know I'm a huge fan of the ColourPop uh, lip pencil formula very very creamy they are sharpenable even though they don't look like it you can wear them all over the lips as well and they stay in place super super affordable um, so good New from Maybelline are the Superstay Matte Inks, and these are awesome. I really, really love these. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, at SamanthaJaneYT, you would have seen that Maybelline forced me into going to a Soul Cycle spin class. Um, and the reward was, you know, the collection of these. I've got to do a whole lip swatch video, which I'm kind of dreading, because they're basically impossible to get off. I wore one of the lighter shades for 24 hours. 
not really on purpose I just got really lazy so I put it on in the morning I don't know what I was doing wore it all day at night I washed my face but you really do need to go in with an oil to remove these so the next morning I woke up and obviously it didn't look amazing my lips felt dry I do not recommend wearing anything for 24 hours um, but they last so well after I got these for whatever reason I had like three dinners that week or like two dinners and a lunch or something and I found myself reaching for these every single time and they last so well some of the formulas um, are a little bit more long lasting than others but like this red one doesn't move there's another shade dreamer that doesn't go anywhere I really like mixing them together they have an incredibly watery really light texture and then they dry down to a matte finish transfer proof really really gorgeous I really love these I hope they extend the range I'd like to see a few more nudes in there there's one shade that's going to be a really popular shade but on me it's like slightly too light and pink to just be able to slap on um, but this one that I have here is in the shade heroin it's been an absolute favorite of mine it's a red that pulls a little bit orange and again this is something that if you've been eyeing these at the drugstore I think you should try I have a nail polish from Quo that I wanted to mention it's in the shade J'adore and this is a beautiful hot pink hot neon pinks can be really hard to find when it comes to nail polishes first of all just finding the right shade that's truly neon but then also when it comes to neons the formula is just so dodgy um, and it can be really hard to build up they're chalky but this is so nice first of all I love the brush on this it's got a nice big rounded brush but you could almost get away with doing one coat of the, this depending on how skilled you are in the world of nail polish I generally do two kind of lighter layers but I was so so impressed with this formula on me every Everything chips after a couple days it's just no matter the top coat except for the SE gel couture's those don't budge but this is just such a beautiful formula I like to switch out my nail polish every two or three days anyways and this is just one of those colors that when you're wearing it people are gonna ask you what's on your nails great for the toes as well in the summer um, and you'll be able to find this at shoppers drug mart moving on to some skincare that I've really been loving from biotherm this is their aqua source ever plump night and again if you follow me on snapchat you would have seen when I got this package for some reason I just I'm so attracted to it like it's just the most beautiful packaging the product inside is really interesting and all of that aside even if it looked like crap smelled like crap whatever it may be although it does have a quite a strong like men's cologne scent to it the product in itself is gorgeous it's meant to hydrate the skin plump you can wear it overnight and the way it's formulated is to be worn at night so that its properties operate better in the dark I mean I'm no scientist but that's what they tell me um, it's for all skin types and it just it adds a nice hydration to the skin but if you have oily skin and you're afraid of like overloading you don't like anything to feel too heavy um, this is a really really gorgeous product I've been using it every single night for the past month probably sometimes I'll add it in oil other times I'll put a serum underneath it sometimes I just use it on its own um, but it is really really nice eye creams for me are a bit of a mystery there are very few that I use that I'm like wow this actually leaves my skin feeling hydrated a lot of the time I just kind of put it on because I'm like I guess it'll do something eventually but this one from Olay I found the first time I used it um, I actually used it in Cincinnati when I was visiting the Procter & Gamble headquarters I will link to that vlog down below but they left this for us in our hotel rooms and I was like okay I'll try it and at first I got kind of scared because the color of it looks like it's going to be a concealer and I was like that's not going to match me um, and it does list as having like a hint of concealer to me it doesn't really um, I use it at night actually but um, I use it in the daytime too but definitely it doesn't have concealer in it maybe if you wear really light makeup but what I love about this is the way it makes my skin feel the next day I'll put it on at night it feels hydrating it feels good but when I wake up the next day I still feel that hydration it doesn't feel like it's sitting on my skin it doesn't feel sticky or heavy but it really just does feel more plump under the eyes when you like to the touch and even just like feeling your skin like it feels really really good Bill about the drugstore I don't think it's like the cheapest it is around probably $30 um, but it really does feel like it does a good job hydrating the skin and as I mentioned I use it both night and day or sometimes I'll switch it out with they've got another one that's like a gel sometimes I'll use that one in the day while we're on the topic of Procter & Gamble they also mentioned this line to me when I was there and I was like I've never heard of that and unfortunately if you're a Canadian and you have curly hair just plug your ears because this is this is not for us unfortunately it's only available in the United States and it's amazing actually if you're Canadian with curly hair 
hop on Twitter, send them an email. We've got to get this stuff here because once I run out, I don't know what I'm going to do. It is the Pantene Gold Series and it is made for like more African American hair types, but if you have curly or um, kind of unmanageable curls, this is totally, you know, something you can reach for as well. Um, and I've been using the entire line, absolutely loving it. One of the standout products for me is the Deep Hydrating Co-Wash. Essentially, this is something that you'll use in between uh, washes because for my type of hair, like I only like to shampoo it once a week, but depending on what I have on the go if I want to wear my hair out and curly I do like to wash it and have it from fresh so I don't want to over shampoo my hair and this is where this comes in handy so essentially this is kind of like a go-between to be able to use but what I like about it in comparison to some other co-washes is that I can still detangle my hair with this in it so it's not really a shampoo it's not a conditioner and normally with shampoo in my hair I could never detangle with my tangle teaser but this adds so much hydration you also get a ton in the package I mean it's Pantene so it's going to be quite affordable but I've just been so so impressed with this line. I love the shampoo and conditioner. I love the leave-in milk. Um, but for me, this has been an absolute standout product and something I've really been enjoying wa using, washing, well, also washing, I guess, um, because I have had co-washes before and I do really like the process and I kind of forgot about it and this is such a good one. Also on the topic of curl, this is from the brand Novex. It is their leave-in conditioner for curly hair and it's supposed to help leave your curls hydrated, detangled with a luminous shine. And I really, really like this. It's available at Ulta and Walmart and um, it just does a really good job. You also get a ton of product in here. I like leave-in conditioners that are a little bit heavier. So this is definitely one of them. And it just does such a nice job hydrating my hair. I've really been working on trying to take care of my hair. I've had a bunch of you comment on my new haircut recently. So thank you very much. Much. Um, I've, you know, I wore my hair straight for about 10 years, then I relaxed it for like 10 years. So it's seen some stuff. I also didn't get it cut for seven years. Fun fact, when I lived in Newfoundland, I was too scared. There's very few black people there. And when I walked into a salon, everyone would come over and touch me. One time I got chemical burns, like it was too much. I was like, you know what? I'm just not cutting it. We'll just leave it. So when I moved to Toronto, I got my first haircut. Anyways, um, I've really been enjoying this. I feel like it does a good job hydrating my hair. And as I mentioned, you get a ton of product in here and it's quite affordable. And now let's move on to my favorite people of the month. Let's chat about my favorite YouTuber. And she's a YouTuber that has been around forever. I have watched her since like basically I started watching YouTube. Her name is That Girl Shay. She lives in New Jersey and she is just fabulous. She, uh, I don't watch a lot of tutorials. I watch more like kind of chatty videos, but I love watching her tutorials. She is like the queen of a smoky, dramatic eye. She's incredibly creative and she's always trying new things, doing new things. But what I like about her the most is how chill she is there's a few people and you may have them as well when you watch them like you feel like you're like there's people that you watch you're like okay I think we could get along but there's people that you watch that you're like oh if we met like we'd sit down we'd have a few drinks it would be an amazing time and she's one of those people to me like I just think she is the absolute sweetest so down to earth so genuine and in the world of YouTube you know as you know things can get disingenuous and they can feel a little bit uh, unapproachable but she is absolutely the exact opposite of that she's also a cat lover so that doesn't hurt and I think she is just fabulous so if you're not already subscribed to her I will link to her down below and be sure to go and check her out and then of course I have my favorite or exemplary subscribers of the month and by no means like if you were not included this month and you feel like we have a good relationship please don't be offended I just wanted to pick three people kind of at random and I will continue to do this every month and you know even if you don't show up here you're absolutely um, a valued member of my YouTube clan so the subscribers that I want to mention are Jan Rayer. She lives in the UK, I believe, and I think that's your name or YouTube username anyways. And we always just have a really good back and forth in the comment section. And I always look forward to seeing what you have to say. Then there's Fashionista Forever. She basically comments first on all of my videos. I think she always gets to it. She's part of my notification squad, which I've never even mentioned before. She's like created that. And then there's also, what is it? Burgundy and Blue? Burgundy and Blue 1111. What I love about her, was actually firstly her birthday this past Sunday so happy birthday but I wanted to mention that she just gets really good constructive criticism which I absolutely appreciate I'm always welcome to hear um, there's a difference between like hey your lighting sucks and would you mind like brightening your lights and she just always has really good um, comments puts a ton of work into them and just we have a really good kind of back and forth and I always enjoy uh, seeing her comments there so that is everything that I was loving this month thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!